Hey guys, look Bog here and welcome to another FIFA 21 squad builder video. We are only one week away from FIFA 21. We are so close now. The summer has been just not great really for FIFA content and stuff like that, but I cannot wait to get back to making FIFA 21 reviews. Uh, just reviews in general is going to be absolutely fantastic. Also, guys, expect to see over the weekend me doing my Team of the Week 1 predictions video and also who I reckon will be getting a player of the month for the Premier League uh, for September. Because, uh, of course, it's the final week of games for September. So we will have a September player of the month in early October, maybe around like the full release of the game or something like that. So I'll have a couple of videos uh, on all of that stuff over the weekend. But anyway, guys, we're doing another squad builder. I'm going to go and space it up a little bit for today. Instead of just doing like a, a one league type of 50k or 100k uh, cost team, I'm going to go with a hybrid squad builder. I don't know what this team would necessarily cost. I kind of have a rough idea and I'll give you guys my thoughts on what it will cost uh, at the end of the video. But I still think this will be a team that was still really, really affordable at the start of the game. It might require like a little bit of grinding, but you know, that's what FIFA, you know, that's the enjoyment part of FIFA. It is, you know, the grinding and wanting to build your good teams. That's what makes Ultimate Team fun by grinding out the game and all the various game modes of an Ultimate Team. Uh, so that's why we're going to go with this team for today. And compared to the other FIFA that we've had for squad builders, this one's going to have like a few more better players all around, uh, which should be pretty good. So uh, we'll start off with the goalkeeping position. We're going to go with Paul Lopez in the city. I believe that this league. Um, or should I say that this team, I believe, has three different leagues in. The City, La Liga, and League 1 as well. The reason why I've gone with those leagues is because I, I want to avoid the Premier League, to be honest. A lot of the better Premier League players are just going to cost so much coins, man. So, uh, ideally, um, especially if people start off Road to Glories... I, I kind of wanted to avoid that for this team and instead go with some of the European leagues instead. But uh, yeah, Paul Lopez in goal. Decent card. 80 euros has got some nice stats there. Uh, all around, so happy days with that one. Uh, we continue with the Suryafi. I'm going to go with Manalas, uh, who has had a 2 rating downgrade for people 21. He's only got 42 passing, but the good thing is his short passing, I believe, is at 60 and his long passing is at 61. So not too bad in that area. Uh, his pace is class, his defense is that's absolutely superb. Nice physicality as well. He'll make a good card. Only 80 euros as well for FIFA 21. Uh, maybe he was injured for last year or, or just didn't have a great season with Napoli. I know that Napoli weren't great last season in general, uh, certainly at the start of the season. I think they did improve as the season went along, but um, we continue with the City and also with Napoli. But a bit of a fan favourite from uh, the early part of FIFA 20. It's going to be Malcoit. I think he might have had a slight pace reduction, although I think he has actually kept the same rating as he was back in FIFA 20. So his pace is in 2 he's got nice passing, very good dribbling, solid defence of stats as well for a fullback, he gets into my team, and that completes the Serie A type of theme of this part of the squad, and then we'll move in uh, to La Liga, we're going to go with Mark Bartra, um, who I believe is still at Real Betis, probably one of my favourite teams in La Liga, Real Betis, I just love, you know, the, the, of course they're from Seville, which is a, a fantastic city, it plays a, a, you know, a really good derby, of course with Sevilla, like the rivalry between them two is really, really cool, so certainly if I was to, you know, support any Serie A team, um, not Serie A, any La Liga team, I probably would be uh, Real Betis, but I'm going with Mark Bartra because he's got a good card, I mean, I know he's had like a decrease in his rating again from FIFA, um, from FIFA 20 because Betis weren't great last season, for the most part, uh, compared to what they've been like two seasons before. Also got Emerson there, who looks a really tasty card as a as a La Liga uh, fullback. But uh, he's still got solid defensive stats. His passing's nice. His dribbling's good at the same time. He'll certainly do you a job. 80 rated. Uh, he'll be very affordable. And then we're going to go with an 83 rated fullback. It's not going to be Mendy. It's not going to be Marcelo. It's going to be someone from Athletic Club. I can't exactly remember his name. Um, but he looks a pretty decent card, though. That's what I will say. Uh, we'll just go and type in Athletic Club here. Uh, or Athletic Club Bilbao, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name, but he looks solid. 83 pace, very, very good defensive stats. He actually looks like he might have been a centre-back from previous season. I'm not too sure. Really good passing, very good dribbling. He looks a really, really good card, and I think he'll work brilliantly. Of course, he will be a few thousand coins, of course, being a you know um, a, a relatively high-rated fullback card with good stats. Um, he will be a few thousand, certainly, but at the same time, he's going to be a very, very good, reliable um, fullback there in him, so that's absolutely fantastic. Now, we move on to the midfield. We'll continue with the La Liga theme. I'm going to go with De Jong in this position. He might cost a little bit. I reckon he'll cost like at least... 
50,000 coins at the start of the game. I reckon this team, you're coming up on around 200,000 coins. But I I know at first 200,000 coins sounds like a lot of coins, but actually it is, you know, as I said before, for a lot of this squad, but as 100,000 coins is very easy to be able to come by. And getting that other 100,000 coins shouldn't really take like that long. You know, it should be in your mind to try and, you know, be wanting to build these type of teams as early on as possible. And it is honestly achievable, even if you only run like first stone, well, not first in a road to glory, but just, you know, road to glories in general. This team is still achievable early on within the game cycle if you sit there and grind the game. Not like ridiculous grinding, just a little bit of grinding. You know, th- th- this team is more than achievable. And Dion will be a fantastic card. Yes, he will have a bit of a price tag on like at probably 40, 50,000 coins, but at the same time, what a player he will be. And then we'll complete the La Liga theme with Dembele again from Barcelona, who's also going to be... Uh, quite a few thousand coins to be about 30,000 coins I reckon at the start of the game uh, so of course these two are probably the most expensive players in the team there's also going to be one more player at the camp position who might also cost a few thousand coins as well but these three positions in total will probably come out around 100 and 20,000 coins I'd say and then completing the rest of the team we're looking at around 200,000 coins maybe slightly less we'll leave the camp position for now we're going to go to League 1 as the next one I'm going to go with Awa from Leon. of course he was uh, outstanding in uh, Leon's very impressive Champions League display uh, from last season Good cards, very nice dribbling, decent passing, his pace and shooting is also very nice, good box to box midfielder, um, wouldn't suit Cam well, I suppose maybe Woodsu can because his, his dribbling sets are pretty nice, actually, but maybe Lexon shooting a little bit too much. Wouldn't really suit CDM because his defensive stats aren't quite up to the CDM level, um, so that's why centre mid, he can do a bit of both on the defence and the attacks, that's why uh, he comes in there. And then uh, for the right mid position, we're going to go with Gelson Martins from Monaco. This guy is absolutely rapid. He was a fun card to use, of course, back in FIFA 20 as well. Um, 94 pays, 85 dribbling, only 80 rated, does lack, of course, in the shooting and passing a little bit, but those two stats there of his insane pace and, uh, and dribbling is absolutely key to this card. I don't think it'd be overly too expensive either, so that's why I've gone with him in the team, which is very nice. Then we're going to go with another player from Monaco. In a new signing for this season, Kevin Volland, he uh, joined from uh, Bayer Leverkusen, 81 rated. Now, yes, he's only got 73 pace, but look at his other stats. 84 shooting, 84 physicality. He's going to be a very, very good target man. Decent passing, so he's going to be able to link up with the attacking players really, really nicely. Do not let his pace put you off. It's not all about pace, guys. Trust me. Um, I mean, look at that. 87 shot power is fantastic to have. 88 stamina. He's got good physicality stats. He's going to be able to bully players off the ball. Four-star, four-star as well. It's also really, really good to have as a starter striker. Because of his pace, he's going to be overlooked so much. But you need to kind of look past that. You need to look at his other good quality stats that he does have. His nice free kick as well as good short passing and vision to have that link up play with other attackers in your team as well. He's going to be a good card in my personal opinion. I really, really do think so. That's why he gets into my team. And then we complete with the final position of uh, Memphis Depay, who uh, still is at Lyon. I know there's been talk of him going to Barcelona, but it seems to be... It seems to be rumours more than actually kind of confirmed stuff. I reckon the, uh, the the main reason why he's been linked with them is obviously because Coman's from, you know, the Netherlands and stuff like that. Um, I, I think that's the only real link there. The fact that they're both Dutch, to be quite honest. I don't. I honestly don't think he'll... I think he's good enough to play for Barcelona. I do 100% think that. And I think that if Barcelona actually came in for him, he will probably go. But he's still very much a Leon player at this moment in time. I still think he'd be a Leon player come the start of the game. And that's why he comes in. And his card is fan. Fantastic. He will probably be the, be the most expensive player on this team, but I reckon that this will come out at around 200,000 coins on the whole. Let me guys know what you think. Do you think this is a really, really cool squad? I think it looks fantastic. Now, yes, you might be uh, pointing out to me here. The pie on eight chemistry is fine. Uh, the only player that doesn't get great chemistry in the team, uh, and again, Gelson Martins, of course, as a right winger, um, will get onto nine chemistry, which is fine, is Manolas. Now, Manolas will get up to seven chemistry after playing 10 games with him, or already be on seven chemistry if you already were just able to automatically uh, get him from a pack or something like that. And I think using him on seven chemistry again would be fine. This is a really, really good team. This is, you know, for me, this would work in for champions, as far as I'm concerned. A few people may say, well, Kevin Volland wouldn't necessarily work there. And yeah, fair enough. Maybe you could even go, if you're sitting there and you've got loads of uh, loads of coins, you could even go with like an icon striker. They may be like a baby Fernando Torres or something like that. But so on the whole, no, I think this is a top, top quality team. I really like the look of it. Let me guys know what you think in the comment section as well. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.